My name is Dr. Vesna Chado. I'm glad I can present my co-authored work at the Global Conference on Primary Health Care and be nominated for a, in the category of Best Researcher Award. The title is Moments of Care, How Interpersonal Interactions Contribute to Luxury Experiences of Healthcare Consumers, paper that was published in the special issue on unconventional luxury in Journal of Business Research. I will try in the few uh, next few slides to uh, present the essence of our research. First, why this research is so important? Because the human touch today is now a luxury good, according to the New York Times, which indicates an increasing luxurification of human interaction and personal care as these become scarcer in times of digitalization. Second, this uh, research shows that pro-social pro interactions can be an unconventional way to experience luxury, which directly opposes the traditional view that luxury is means to socially show off by material indulgence. That means that unconventional luxuries can be perceived as individually defined luxuries and can in include products or experiences often used in daily life, like watching sunset or buying some product that improves your well, uh, well-being and so on and so far. And the third reason why this topic is important is because positive interpersonal interactions are especially relevant in medical services where consumers, customers are vulnerable customers that pass through difficult moments experiencing negative emotions and positive personal interactions might be used as a tool to overcome uh, these difficult moments and that's how they can represent an individually defined luxuries for them. Therefore, the goal of our research is to answer the research question and try to provide an understanding of how interpersonal interaction between healthcare consumers and medical staff contribute to individually defined luxury. In order to do so, our research build theoretical foundation on extended literature on luxury services and hospitality, accepting the definition of Gupta and Weitz from 99 that experience in service context is defined as any sensation or knowledge acquisition that results for interactions with a service provider. We build our literature review on two pillars, materiality and interpersonal interactions at the service encounters. Our extended research in materiality in service encounters re shows that research on luxury services, including medical context, provides insights on positive correlations between elements from physical environments, such as uh, material, space, design, or atmosphere, and the experiences and behaviors of consumers, including healthcare consumers. The recent study of Susan Modi in 2017 showed that uh, exclusive interiors of hospital rooms add greatly to positive experiences of healthcare consumers. The other pil pillar that we did extended research on were in the interpersonal interactions in service encounters. We found that services are people-oriented businesses and beyond a physical environment, they need people to serve people. The way employees interact with consumers is critical, not for only for the experience, but also for the outcomes such as satisfaction and loyalty. Uh, we found out that out of the ordinary service encounters that has a certain extra, the, uh, this allows consumers to live through a customized, co-created and unique service experience that is worth telling others and bring positive behavioral outcomes. The second aspect that we found out in, in our literature review on interpersonal interaction in service context is that in luxury setting, um, services encounters as locus for class struggles which produces class inequalities, not only from an employee perspective, as Godwin and Sherman uh, found in their researches in 2007, but also from a consumer uh, perspective. Therefore, uh, interpersonal interaction can be used 
in order to serve the client in the best possible way. And finally, we found out that in medical settings uh, where negative emotions and biomedical approach are part of the experience, a pro-social and caring approach of interpersonal interaction might, might be more than valuable. Uh, our uh, extended literature re uh, research uh, sh uh, have showed that there are several research gaps that has to be fulfilled. First, many researchers examine how physical and social cues of luxury services affect behavioral outcomes using experiences as a moderator but rarely focus on understanding the quality of experiencing interpersonal interactions. Second, many contributions approach luxury from a traditional uh, uh, perspective, but not all the customers are willing or able to experience ex have uh, exclusive experiences. For these consumers, individually defined luxuries are psychologically uh, closer rather than traditional luxury goods and experiences. And third, most of the ident identified studies or interpersonal interactions are done within the context of luxury restaurants, luxury hotels, or luxury stores, but not with, within a healthcare context and not from a patient's perspective. How did we do this? We explore our research question in the context of the private ophthalmic clinic Sistina Ophthalmologia in North Macedonia, a luxury healthcare network that runs one day eye surgery model in which patients undergo refractive and voluntary uh, surgery. During a three month period, we conducted 30 interviews with patients of the eye cleaning. The number of informants represents common sample size recommendations from for exploratory research according to McCracken from 1988. Um, the purpose of the interview was to gain the understanding of the informant's conscious experiences with the service encounter. We additionally selected patients with both high and low incomes and patients who had experienced their eye problem for a relative short or long time to increase the diversity among the uh, patients. The 30 interviews lasted approximately 55 minutes. In collecting our data, we relied on personal interviews covering three phases. The first, we asked their, the interviews to provide information on their daily life with the visual impairment. Second, we asked them on their understanding on luxury and healthcare. And third, we took a deep dive into their personal experiences in the eye clinic before, during and after the procedure. Um, phenomenological questioning supported the description of experiences at, as it emerged in some uh, context. We analyzed the interview material in a multi-step procedure. Each author individually read through the interview and identified emerging codes and categories for each case and across cases. In addition, we moved uh, between the data material and the theory to identify emerging themes according to Thompson in 1989. Our goal was to produce thick descriptions of our themes to support the trustfulness of our interpretation. What we found out? Our findings revealed that our informants experienced two aspects during their stay in the luxury eye clinic. The first one is experiencing material luxury. The second one and most luxurious aspect reflects the experiencing of humanity, of moments or care in social interactions between the medical staff and healthcare consumers. The first one, as I said, experiencing material luxury. In luxury medical settings, uh, people experience high-class offerings such as hotel amenities, luxurious in designs and advanced technology. And many of the informants experience the ice clinic, eye clinic as five-star hotel, which is mainly for elites that runs professional or smooth processes, offers the latest technologies and so on and so far. However, this material luxuriousness is not enough for our informants. In their stories, we found another necessary element that enriches material luxury, and that is humanity in interpersonal interactions. At the very heart of our interview stories are the narrations about moments of care or short-lived and pro-social interactions that experience with the medical, with the medical staff. 
Moments of care are not experienced continuously along the patient journey, but they appear in one or two episodes in our informants' narrations. Informants describe their lived experiences through three emerging themes. First, experiencing authentic presence. This element of interpersonal interactions means that patients are treated as a whole person rather than as object and disease entity. They reported that they felt that the doctor is with them all the time or they, that the personal attention was the true luxury for them. The second element of interpersonal interaction that we found out in our research is the experiencing balanced power relationships, which means that patients are involved in respectful and cooperative interactions with the medical staff. They reported that they were being in a good hands, taking to a close friend, close person or sitting in a cafe. The third element we found out in our research is experiencing interpersonal interaction, which means patients experience emotional bonding and transmission of positive energy. We, feel we were very close. I could feel the positive energy between us or our actions were totally attuned. Obviously, this research, we set our investigate how healthcare consumers experience interactions with medical staff and demonstrate how moments of care contribute to individually defined luxuries during a medical service encounter. Our studies contributes to academic knowledge, but to managerial practice also. Our study contributes to the growing interest of unconventional aspects of luxury by introducing the notion of moments of care. It also contributes to the extent literature on luxury experience services by validating and expanding existing findings on components of interpersonal interaction through authentic presence, balanced power relationship, interpersonal inter uh, synchrony. And third, research emphasized the temporality of experiences because moments of care are short-lived moments. We also contribute to managerial uh, man practice through valuable uh, implications for private and for public medical institutions because um, luxurious interpersonal interactions can be offered to the patients via the realization of culture of care, even in the public medical institution. Uh, uh, our study uh, suggests uh, organizational restructuring and reimagining employees' roles to support caring uh, culture and as well training in communication skills such as uh, mild mindfulness, which can train, support the medical staff to be attentive, open, and to stay focused, role-playing scenarios, uh, which uh, can uh, help um, allow to change perspectives and to empathize with the patient's physical and social, uh, uh, physical and social situation, and uh, Schwartz Round uh, that can uh, help allow the medical staff to share their emotions about caring uh, for others. Uh, future research can more the first cultural context of participants and other medical settings and along the patient journey can be set as future research. Second, employees' perspectives such as how they experience the giving of moments of care to healthcare consumers. And of course, future studies can investigate how moments of care translate into other service uh, contexts. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your attention. I hope that uh, my uh, research and my presentation uh, was interesting for you and inspiring as well. Thank you very much.